Hey guys, Gokusum for the win here, and welcome back to another Poké News Sunday. I've got a lot of important news for you guys, so let's get straight into it. First off, a special event has begun for Poké Tournament in the arcade. This event is to celebrate Valentine's Day and will be happening on February 9th to the 28th, and coming with the new update version N. Chandelure is available for Poké Tournament players, and in addition to this, the support Pokémon Rotom and Togekiss, previously only announced on the Wii U version, are also available to players with a Banab Passport. Also, if you get Chandelure up to a skill level of 15 during this event, you'll receive special outfits for your player avatar. Secondly, the GBA and DS games Pokémon Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue Rescue Team are on the eShop for download on the Wii U in Europe. This is how much Red and Blue will cost, and it takes 87.9 megabytes to download. Some stream details for the Winter Regionals in North America have been released. The St. Louis Regionals will be streamed once again for the weekend covering February 20th to the 21st. There will be separate streams for the Video Game Championships and the Trading Card Game Championships. For those of you in France, there was a Mew event that was announced, and it will be happening from February 26th to March 31st. You will be able to receive a code to get Mew at Micromania stores across the country. Now some big Core Core leaks happened this month. In this issue, it shows off a brand new Pokemon for the upcoming movie, and this Pokemon is called Magiana. The first image of Magiana, it clarifies that it's a man-made Pokemon. There's no type revealed, it possesses a metallic body, and it was made over 500 years ago. Volcanion is also chasing after Magiana. It only knows Magiana's secret, apparently. The movie is to be called Volcanion the Ingenious Magiana, and the movie summary for the magazine says, as Ash and his friends continue their journey, Volcanion drops down in the sky in front of them. Volcanion's object is to recover Magiana, who was abducted by the A A Azoth? A Azoth? 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 We'll go with Azoth. Kingdom, a city of super machinery. However, Volcanion and Ash are linked by a strange chain. Will the two of them manage to work together to save Magiana? Now, this movie summary I personally don't really understand because apparently Volcanion actually hates humans. We've gotten that information from the past Korra Korra leaks, so I don't understand why they would link him to Ash or how this would even work out, but it's going to be interesting seeing how this works. And it's also interesting to see what Magiana has to do with this whole story because it doesn't even look like Magiana would even go together with, with Volcanion. The second leak from Korra Korra shows off Shadow Mewtwo and explains his move Psywave. Psywave is mainly used for setting up combos at close range, but can also be used as a vortex to suck in opponents and can be used for a projectile. It also states that he could use Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and Fire Punch, and if you get all three hits off, you'll deal a lot of damage. An event for Pokemon Omega Ruby, Elf Sapphire, and X and Y is about to happen to celebrate the reopening of Japan Pokemon Center Online. A special Pikachu with the moves Surf, Fly, Agility, and Celebrate will be distributed via serial code for every purchase that is made in the store through February 16th to May 22nd. Now I'm pretty excited for this because now we can finally get a Pikachu with both Fly and Surf. I don't think that's ever been a thing. I know Pikachu has been able to get Surf and Fly in the past, but Fly and Surf, that's pretty cool. Now that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe for more Pokemon news every Sunday. And remember to shoot that like button with Kamehameha.